Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So in this video of Art Supply Sundays, I want to talk about something that is crucial to your mechanical pencils, and that is lead. Um, gonna need some more refills of my .7s soon, but yeah, I just kind of want to talk about them a little bit. So of course, since we have mechanical pencils that come in all shapes and sizes. We've got the really thick ones, the really skinny ones, and then the ones that are in between. So, I'll you out too. Okay, so these are the three kind, of, or the, I guess, four different types of mechanical pencils I have. Um, they all vary with um, width and everything. The biggest I have are these two. They both have a two millimeter lead. I have plenty of extra lead. I actually haven't ever refilled these, I don't believe. And I actually also have colored leads of these, which they are out there. You can find colored leads to go in your mechanical pencils, which can be helpful with sketching, um, which is mainly what I use mechanical pencils for. Um, so yeah, we've got two millimeters and then the 0.7 millimeters. So those are kind of the whole range I have these are also seven millimeters. I don't think I have any for these really small guys. Um, I think these guys are 0.3. I want to say oh 0.5. Apologies, they're 0.5 millimeters, and I don't have any refill lead for them at the moment. But yeah. Um. Anyways, as you can buy extra lead, and you can buy it in different colors. You can also actually buy it in different kinds. So you can get different hardnesses of your lead. So if you've never been told this before, with color, or with pencils, they come in different hardnesses. So H stands for, well, the easy way to remember this is H stands for hard, and B stands for, hmm, I want to say bold. Um, like it blends easily. Um, I can't remember exactly what the B stands for. I don't really think it really stands for anything, but the way to remember it. So H is typically the very light pencils. So you get you can get up to 8H, possibly beyond, but those are very hard and <clears throat> don't leave much lead on the paper. Well, the more into the Bs you get, the more lead it is leaving on the paper and the easier it is leaving this lead on the paper so the less pressure you have to put to leave a mark pretty much but then again with your H lead the H lead likes to stay put and not as much which is something that's nice about it if you're using it to sketch but then again you can sometimes dig into the paper if you're pressing too hard which is something I do sometimes so HB is your typical number two pencil. It's right in the middle. So most of the lead you're going to find for mechanical pencils is going to be HB. But I have seen B lead. Um, so that's just like one over into the B side. So it's not super, super soft, but it's softer than the HB. So yeah. Now that we've got that out of the way, so we've got normal leads we also have the colored leads and this one hasn't actually been open yet i found these and i thought they were awesome and i really wanted to try them out with you guys so yeah um so i do mainly as i said use these as ske or as sketching materials so i'll use them in my sketchbooks and everything to lay down a sketch just because it's easier than often easier than having to grab a pencil and keep that sharp and sharpening it everything. The only problem is with these guys, these thicker guys, because you actually do need to sharpen the tips. And I actually do have a little sharpener. I'll talk about sharpeners later. This is a little tip sharpener that I use often to sharpen the tips of these guys to make sure they're sharp. Um, it can be pretty messy though and it spills lead all over the place, but it is helpful for keeping these guys sharp. I also have a smaller one too. That one's kind of easier to use sometimes. But yeah, anyways, um, a lot of people, you can see um, 
people are obsessed with cola erase and those are Prismacolor pencils. Um, I actually also want to touch on, I'm going to call them cola erase knockoffs. They're Crayola pencils. They're really not the best, but if you want to sketch in pencil that's going to erase for a cheap price point, Crayola erasable pencils might be your best option. Um, anyways, it's just for the sketch. So, I mean, depends on how much money you want to spend on that. And, yeah, these are also, I'm assuming, erasable since it does come with erasers. So, anyways, I want to get into the art for today. We're going to be trying to use all this colored lead and everything. And I hope we can make something beautiful together. Um, hopefully, at some point in time, you guys can get out there and try some leads and mechanical pencils for yourself. So yeah, I'll see you on the flip side, guys.
Okay, so that's it for my little drawing with these pieces. So for today, I only used my mechanical pencils like I did in one of the previous pieces, except I also used the colored leads this time. And I really actually enjoyed the color that came out of the leads that I have. Um, a lot of the colors were pretty strong, especially these paper mate ones. The paper mate ones felt really nice and smooth and laid down well on the paper. Well, these guys, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, this set. It was him and him. So the set is at Hobby Lobby if you are interested, but the color lays down a little bit harder than the other. It kind of lays down like the Crayola erasable colored pencils do. So it doesn't lay down super well or super pigmented. As you can see, that's very still very light. Um, the green is what I use as the color, and then I switch to blue, which is actually still in here. It's right there. So yeah, I actually really did enjoy this lead, and I hope to use it a lot more in the future. Um, it was very nice to use it. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy I did get this lead, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. I hope you. Maybe go and check out some colored leads yourself, mechanical pencils. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment if you've got anything you want to say, anything at all. Subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, see you guys next time. Bye-bye!